Yeah, and so if you haven't heard of Alexa, that is the product uh, from Amazon, and it, the Echo is the actual device that you buy that is a speaker microphone system that hooks into your, your network, and you can ask it questions, it'll give you back answers, sometimes it's a little snarky, you know, but you, it's the beginning of the... Uh, like home automation, like where Precisely. you're you're cooking something. You say, "Hey, like, how much is do I need to put in? Like, how many ounces in, in a pint or something like that?" Uh, you also have to remember that Alexa, of course, it came from Amazon. Mm -hmm. It's an uh, it came out of the Echo was the first one that we saw, which was right. that, that tower of thing. And it, people thought, "Okay, it's interesting, but we don't really understand what it's for. We don't mm -hmm. understand what you would use it for." And actually, Amazon at the time they were they were thinking that the Fire Phone was oh, going to be there. would be integrated into yeah, that. That yeah. was not a good call. That was not a good call. It was not a good product. But the the Echo and Alexa were the sleeper hit because right. people started realizing here's a device that a it's a pretty decent speaker. I mean, you can put it in the middle of a room and it, mm -hmm. it you know it provides some some decent sound if you want to play music. B, it's it's a personal assistant. But we had that with Google Now. We had that with Siri. We had that with Cortana. Yeah. But the fact that the ecosystem was so open that anyone could create a skill, anyone could play with the code, yeah. anyone could now put it on a Raspberry Pi means the possibilities are limitless for Alexa and Amazon. Yeah, and so if you're like me and you didn't want to drop 80 to $120 buying an Amazon Echo to see if you liked it or even would use it, um, this is a project where it works on the Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, which I believe you can get for like maybe under $30. And I just bought a Raspberry Pi 3 for about $35. And it really doesn't depend on the speed of the Pi because all it's really doing is fetching the, right. the data from, all the from the cloud. The processing is being done off the, on the other side of the cloud. Right. Okay. And so uh, it's a fun project. The only accessory, if you already have a Raspberry Pi that you need to buy, is a microphone. Um, That's interesting. Okay, yeah. so when I'm thinking of microphone, I'm usually thinking of <laughs> Either a 3.5 inch, which we don't use anymore, or some right. sort of USB stick mic that goes on a boom. Right. Is there something that works better for this? Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, the recommended so Amazon. I have the link in the the doc. Amazon's GitHub actually. Oh. Sorry. Well, there's the microphone. Oh, sorry. No, 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 that's fine. It's so two dollars. Uh, it looks. I mean, it's smaller than most USB storage sticks that you could buy. Uh, and it's I, cute. It's super cute. And I didn't think it would work that well. But, you know, it actually did. Even in the office environment where things are kind of open and, and loud and there's people talking in the background, when I was using it with this microphone, it picked it up fine every time. Like, I never had any issue with it. So, I, yeah, if you pick this up for $2 and use it, it works great. Well, that's, that's one of the tricky parts of any digital assistant, personal digital assistant. And that is, yes, you, you want it to be voice activated, but at the same time, it has to be smart enough to know mm -hmm. what is not you, what it shouldn't be listening to. And that is one caveat of this project, is that there is no access to... Um, saying a command and oh, having it okay. respond. Because that's like a proprietary uh, Amazon code thing. So you have to physically oh, use a, a mouse. Button. You have to, use, or yeah, you could build a button into this and push a button and then it will activate the listening. Well, but that's that's like their new one, their little puck one. Mm -hmm. The same thing, the, was it the dot or? I uh, yeah, I think it's the dot. The yeah. dot, where it's not always listening like the Amazon Echo, which mm -hmm. Some people actually really like because they're like, I don't like the fact that all of this audio is being sent to Amazon at all times. Exactly. So if you're more of like paranoid, security minded, you might want to just do this project because it's it's not voice activated. It's push a button activated, um, and it kind of just gives you an, a a way to play with it without having to mm -hmm. like buy the product. It, it's really nice if you already have a Raspberry Pi because the only other extra things that I had to buy. Um, well, so the microphone, that little guy, and then just a micro SD card. As long as you get something that's uh, eight gigabytes or or more, you should be totally fine. I had a four gigabyte card that I tried to use from a previous project. It wasn't big enough for uh, the OS. Like the OSs have gotten really big. That's, wow, I'm, yeah, because Raspberry OSs used to be like a maybe 10, 20 megabytes. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you installing like the Raspbian OS, which you need to do for this project, I think it takes up like about four gigs. Wow, okay. So yeah, definitely, and you know, micro SD cards are so cheap now. Yeah, Just get exactly. a 32 gig Get a 32, gig plug to. it in there. You probably won't use it all, but you might. Yeah. All right, so I've got, I've got my Raspi, and I could use a two, I could use a three. Mm -hmm. 
you don't get a speed advantage, but the Raspberry Raspi 3 does automatically include Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Can I use that? You can. Um, you know, I did straight Ethernet plugged into it. I didn't test it out, but the Wi-Fi, integrated Wi-Fi in the Raspberry Pi 3 is pretty slick because as yeah. far as mm -hmm. uh, when you first boot it on with your USB that you formatted and put um, the Noobs OS on, it'll walk you through the process and you don't have to have it plugged into Ethernet. Like, it automatically will do a search for the Wi-Fi networks and stuff. So I just plugged it in through Ethernet because it was easier for me and I stole your switch, uh, which I've been using at the desk. So That's <laughs> where that went. Ah, okay. Uh, it's come in handy. Yeah. 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 Well, so you needed a Brass Pi, either mm -hmm. two or three. You needed the, the SD card. You needed the microphone. You probably need some sort of mouse monitor keyboard because you're going to have to do set setup. So I have just a cheapy uh, keyboard mouse setup uh, integrated into one USB that I used. You know, everybody has like maybe an extra keyboard laying around. Uh, so I didn't pay for that. Uh, and then the monitor I used, had I was plugged in through HDMI. So... If you weren't planning on using a, a monitor that has speakers, you'd have to like attach uh, a different little speaker ah, to right. the 3.5 millimeter jack. But if you're plugged into an HDMI, uh, mo HDMI monitor, it you will play the, the audio through that. that. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I did. That you know, this this would actually be a fun project for once you're done with it, for me to take and turn it into some sort of 3D encased object because we can use yeah. the printer. To, to give this a little bit of style rather than just bare bone. Well, computer. this was my, my pretty much a, initial playthrough just to see if I could mm -hmm. get it working, how well it would work. And actually, I have a video of, um, of me testing out some of the voice commands, so maybe we should listen to that real quick. Play music. Is not supported for this device. Set a timer for five seconds. Starting now. Play top news. President Obama brought delegates to their feet as he took the stage at tonight's Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia tonight. What is the weather in San Francisco? Sco, California. It's 60 degrees with partly sunny skies. Oh, gray. Hot. On this vessel are not yet operational. Do aliens exist? No proof that alien life exists, but the universe is a very big place. What is the meaning of life? Depends on the life in question. 42 is a good approximation. In the end, this is one of the more fun projects I've done with the Raspberry Pi, and it's pretty simple to get set up and shows off some of the cool features that Amazon has with their Echo. This has been... That's not bad. So that's actually a lot of fun. What I, what I like about a project like this is you could tell that it's ongoing because there are a couple yeah. of skills that haven't quite made their way over yet. Well, and I think that's more of a a patent thing or a proprietary thing because so right. it won't play music but you can do read the top news and i was able to get uh twit to play over the tune i think it's like the tune in app or anything right i right. just said play twit to like twit.tv and then it like took a second and it started playing uh whatever was on our live stream at the at that time now when you're using this does do i load skills on this like i loaded on my echo or no 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 okay. it's pretty bare bones you just press the button say what you the command that you have and then just it repeats it back or repeats the answer back to you right exactly now you know what Kara, if you could go back to that first link because you did link up the the github repository this is what you're going to need if you go yeah. here it's got all the code all the packages that you're going to need to get uh now can can i just do uh you know just a, a straight update can i install my raspbian and then just do a, a, a get app and pull it down it's not quite as easy as that. I think the entire project, and, and I took my time making sure I didn't miss anything, uh, probably took me about 45 minutes to get through all the instructions. Um, you have to download Java to get it to work. And then it's a lot easier if you have a secondary PC, like a Windows machine, and you install a program like Putty, where okay. you can SSH yeah, that in. that makes much more sense. And when you do something like that, you can copy and paste uh, the code over into the shell, uh, which makes it a lot easier than trying to have to type it out on the Pi itself. Very cool. Well, I, you know, I for one, I uh, want to try this now. I've got a Raspi 3 with the 8-inch touchscreen on it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking that might actually be a fun place to start. That would be a really cool project. And the next thing I would like to do is I want to make like a, a 3D printed cylinder or something and put make it look like <laughs> make a faux like echo, echo almost. A, a feco. A fe <laughs> something else. A <laughs>
No, I can't say the other one. No, no, <laughs> don't say that one. <laughs> uh, but put the Pi inside of like a 3D printed case and then incorporate a button. And I'm pretty sure someone has figured out the voice activation stuff, but you have to, it's like yeah. side loading a program with that is listening for a command and then tells the echo. Like it's kind of like a well, hodgepodge. I, I'm just thinking that if I have it on the, the touch screen, they, I should just be able to hit that. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, you it's, could. It's just it totally a mouse. Could. It's a mouse click, 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 click. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, how about this? You build your. Foco. My Foco and with I'll the bring button. My Feco. Okay. Yeah. And we'll we'll hang. We'll, we'll do, yeah, we'll have a good time. We'll it, see if they they can talk to each other. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right? We can have them have a conversation. With, yeah. It'll be like when they had those Furbies and you had Furbies Yay. in a circle and they would just mess around with each other. Oh man. That those things freaked me out. It will be on fleek. Totes on Un fleek. fleek? On fleek. Man, Wait, is that, am I using that right? You're totally on top of these, I, I like, uh, these I'm new terms. I'm pop culture priest guy. <laughs> Oh, it's on fleek. Oh, My man. goats. Hmm.